Happy Jack says it's time for Romper Room. And welcome to SeaWorld of Ohio and Romper Room right here in SeaWorld. We are so excited to be here right at Shamu, the killer whale's pool. And we have Dawn and John, her trainers here with us. And Shamu has a very special greeting for all of the Romper Room friends at home. I have my friend Jenny here, and she's going to get the greeting for us whenever Shamu is ready. I think Shamu's just about ready to give us that special, special hello. If you ever come here to see World of Ohio, you'll see it. Now, watch, Jenny's going to get a big kiss from Shamu right now. How did you like that, Jenny? Was that special? Oh, I think that was super, and that kiss was for you, too. Jenny, why don't you stay on up here with us? Since Shamu has said hello to us, Don and John and all my romp room friends, why don't we ask Shamu to join us for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag? Okay, we're do you think the you could do that? Now. You think you could put your right hand up? You ready? And maybe Shamu will help with the flippers and we'll get started. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the flag to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America. Of America and, and to, to the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one, one nation under, under God. God Indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Now, Shamu, why don't you come over here and salute the flag? Shamu? Let's watch Shamu. Okay, Shamu, watch how sal Shamu salutes the flag right now, boys and girls. Are you ready? Come on up here and let's have a great big salute. Watch this. And cut. Way up, Shamu, a big salute. A big smile. A big salute. That old boy. Did you see Shamu salute the flag there? Well, he's going to go out now and jump around the pool. Shamu is up here. Here you go, Shamu. Now watch him. Here he goes. He's on his way. Did you see a big breath he took out of his blowhole? He breathes from the top of his head. There's a big bow. Come on, Shamu. Let's do a big one now. That is fantastic. Now, how do you teach Shamu how to do that, John? Oh, it takes a long time, Miss Sally. Shamu learns just by learning little things at first, and then he learns some of his more impressive and more big behaviors. Well, I noticed you're rubbing Shamu. Does she like that? Oh, he certainly yeah. does. Why don't you come up and shake his tongue, Miss Sally? Wow. Would you like to see that, friends at home? Come on, now, watch carefully. All right, now. Terrific, Shamu. That's Thank you for saying, shaking tongue. That's his way of saying hello. And now Shamu is getting Some a fish. reward, uh -huh. a special fish, fresh fish. When Shamu for does something, behavior. when he does something right, then we go ahead and give him some fish. Well, now that's how you train her. In other words, every time that she does something right, she gets a reward, that's and right. that teaches her. <laughs> now Shamu knows what? that he's. No, wait a minute. Well, let's find out. The children want to know if Shamu's a he or a she. Shamu's a he, that's for sure. Oh, it is a he. He sure is. Oh, I see. He's well, a big thank man. thank you for telling he's, me. How big is Shamu, John? Oh, he's uh, 19 feet long and weighs 5,500 pounds. Oh, wow. What is Shamu going to do now? Well, he's going to do his hurdle behavior right now, Miss Sally. Now, first of all, Shamu learned this behavior a long time ago. And this is one of his best trained behaviors. When Shamu first started learning to do the hurdle, the rope is at the bottom of the water, way down underneath the water. And every time Shamu would swim over it, I'd give him some fish. And pretty soon he got to the point where he was swimming over the, the rope every time it was in the water. Well then, all we had to do was start raising the rope a little bit higher every single time. And Shamu would start swimming harder and faster until he got up and over and all the way out of the water. And now watch. Here he goes. He's on his way, and he's going to build up more speed as he circles around the pool, takes a dive right there, and now he's going to go all the way up and over the hurdle. Wow. Fantastic. Oh, wasn't that beautiful? And you have to get that back in very quickly, I see. Well, it just keeps you from washing around in the water. <laughs> it's a, a good nice thing we took our shampoo. shoes off, isn't it, everybody? Yeah. Well, how much...
much do you think Shamu eats a day? I think that would be interesting. Now, how, how much does Shamu like to eat? He well, eats 100 pounds of smelt, white bait, this is white bait, mm -hmm. and herring. 100 pounds of fish a day. Three kinds of fish. And he is raw. very powerful. Why don't we show everybody just how powerful you are? Watch right over here, boys and girls. Shamu's going to do his most favorite behavior. It's a backflip. Watch him. Here he comes. Down to the bottom. Come on, Shamu. Whoa, Shamu didn't do a backflip. Did you see me give him a signal? I'm going to give him a signal one more time. All that right. time he said, oh, I missed it. Come on, Oh, Matt. did you Come see Shamu's? Now watch closely. I'm going to raise my hands in the air. Blow and when Shamu blow sees me do that, that oh, means he go do a backflip. Actually, he's blowing air out of the OK, blow let's go hole. do a backflip. He turns around. He sees my signal. And he dives right there. OK, Shamu. Up for the backflip. Here he comes. There it is. Oh, beautiful. Now, that was special, wasn't it? Now, I noticed that Shamu did not do it right Do you do things or always do things right the first time, or do you make a few mistakes sometimes? Um, Me too, Tom. Me too. You too, friends at home. I think so. Me too. That was absolutely super. Now, when you want to train Shamu, John, uh -huh. Shamu, just as you were teaching us in the hurdle, learns little things and then bigger things and bigger things. That's right. Uh, how long does it take you to teach Shamu the hard trick? Well, oh, about a year and a half of, of intensive training. Mm -hmm. And can Shamu learn more than one trick at a time? Yes, he's working all the time on what we call different behaviors. Right. His newest behavior is when he, we ask him to raise up his pectoral flexor, right? You see there? Way up high now, Shamu. I gave him a signal by raising my hand there, and he saw that. Wow. Okay, Shamu, would you like to go say goodbye to all the boys and girls out there for just a second here? John, I'm gonna go out right before you go, I'd like to ask you one question. I yes. think the friends at home might like to know. Shamu uh -huh. is a killer whale. That's right. And yet we're not afraid to be here. Why is Shamu called a killer whale, and why can we be here? Well, Shamu's called a killer whale because in the ocean, that is his natural instinct to kill his prey. Killer whales are the best hunters in all of the ocean. They hunt everything, and nothing hunts them. And so they know, they're known to kill things very, very aggressively and efficient, efficiently in the water. But here, while well, I work with Shamu, we're friends. He knows me and trusts me, and I trust him, and we've gotten to know each other very well and be good friends. You see, Shamu really enjoys being here. You see yeah. this? <laughs> Shamu really does love you. I think Shamu would like to come right out of the water with you. Yeah. All right, now we get to see the, the most exciting thing here at SeaWorld. Well, first of we? all, we're going to go out and take a wave here. All right. all right. Now, friends at home, we're going to watch Shamu, and Shamu's going to say goodbye to everybody. We're going to have more fun, more opera fun here at SeaWorld, but Shamu's about ready to go. Watch John. There he goes. There he goes. And we will be back after this excitement. There he goes.